everyone likes to talk about how the advancements in technology will change the way we live forever. Frankly, I think technology is hurting us. I really do. If you want to know the truth, I blame the microwave for most of our problems. <laughs> Anything that gets you that hot without fire is from the devil. <laughs> if you don't believe me, try putting a hot pocket in the microwave for three or four minutes. And then you pop that thing in your mouth, whew, and gee, girlfriend, let me tell you, if that is not a problem, I don't know what is. <coughs> Technology has been advancing at an unbelievable rate. By the time I decide which computer to buy, it's already obsolete. <laughs> there are many wonderful things about technology. We can't live without it. But it can cause some problems. And this is how we live. Ellen DeGeneres discusses this modern day problem. Modern life requires hardly any physical activity. We just push a button and stand there. Take the car window. Someone decided that having to crank the window down yourself <laughs> was too hard. I don't want to turn butter. I just want fresh air. So we got a bun to do it. But we're just so lazy. We used to have breath mints. Now we have breath strips that just dissolve on our tongues. Can we not suck anymore? <laughs> yes, we're lazy. Yet. We also can't seem to sit still, so we started creating things like Go-Gurt. That's yogurt for people on the go. <laughs> Let me ask you, was there a big mobility problem with yogurt before? <laughs> How time consuming was it? Really? Hello? Oh, hey, Tom. Oh, I've been dying to see that movie. Uh, no. I just opened up some yogurt. Yeah, I'm in for the night. <laughs> no, not even later. It's the kind with the fruit on the bottom? Well, thanks anyways. Have fun. Is that a hair? If you go to a bathroom, you'll find one thing that's kind of weird, the toilet paper. Is it even one ply anymore? It's a sheer suggestion of toilet paper. It's an innuendo. It's so thin. And if it's a brand new roll that hasn't gotten started yet, just try to find the start of that roll. First, you turn it slowly. You think, surely I've gone by once or twice by now. <laughs> then. You speed it up. You think, maybe the wind will open up the first flap. <laughs> then you turn it the other way. You think, maybe I was going in the wrong direction. <laughs> then back to slow. And when you finally find it, it's glued down. <laughs> so you try pulling it apart, but only a quarter of an inch separates and the rest stays glued. So now you're pulling, and you're pulling, and soon you got a five foot long cord and strip. I don't want a streamer, I want toilet paper. So now one side is fully intact. You gotta cut a groove out on the other side, but you never get it exactly even. So finally you just claw at it like a wild animal. I just want toilet paper. There are some things that they're making that I just don't think we need. Top of the list is the moving sidewalk you find in airports. I don't know what purpose it really serves. I mean, it's fun because it moves. So if you're on it, you're almost like the bionic person, just flying past the people <laughs> trudging beside you on the ground. But do you know how hard it is to adjust once you got off that thing? Whoa. And what about the people who get on there and just stand? I guess we have to. Thank God they found the moving sidewalk. Without it, I don't know how people would get anywhere. There are some things that they're making that I just don't think they need. Well, they're making these automatic toilets that flush entirely on their own schedule. 
They just randomly go off. You're sitting down, having a pleasant time. And then it flashes. Oh, how dare you, girlfriend! I will tell you when I am finished. And then sometimes it doesn't go off. You stand up and stare at the toilet. Don't look at that. Then you try to fake it out. You sit down, stand up. Sit down, stand up. You sit down, then you stand up. Then you try tiptoeing away as if you're leaving. Nothing works. <laughs> Technology has done one beautiful thing for us. It's called the cell phone. There was no, not one place in the world where a cell phone is not going off. But now every cell phone now has its own little song. Thank goodness we got rid of those obnoxious ringtones. <coughs> Isn't it? When you're on a cell phone, you can't even have a full conversation. Usually, reception is terrible, and somehow it's only bad on your side. <laughs> the person talking to you has no idea that you have bad reception. And they're rambling on and on, and you got your finger jammed in your ear, you're shushing people on the streets, you're ducking behind dumpsters, you're putting your head between your knees, <coughs> just so you can hear about your friend's new haircut. What about the bangs? Are the bangs shorter? The bangs. The bangs! At least if you have static, you have some clue that you may get cut off. <laughs> there is nothing worse than when you have crystal clear reception and you've been rambling on for who knows how long. So we were going to the cheese shop. Uh, hello? Did, did I lose you? Okay, good, good, good. So we knew we were going to have white wine. Hello? Okay, good, good. And I thought, what kind of cheese would go with? Hello? Did I lose you? Okay, good, good. And wait, what was I talking about again? Phones have gone through such an evolution. Now we have this wireless technology that, that lets us talk to anybody, anywhere, anytime. You'll remember when there's only one phone in the house, when cord was just being invented, <coughs> you had a, they had a lackage of cord back then, maybe you had a 42 from the wall to the phone. When you said you were on the phone, you were on the phone. <laughs> then the kitchen wall phone came along, usually a lovely mustard or an avocado <laughs> green. It had a 90 foot long cord that let you talk all the way around the house, cleaning tables, wrapping around dogs, so that by the time you hung up, it was this tangled wire of cord confusion. But do you know what's fun about it? Was that every once in a while, you would hold that phone up by the cord and let that thing spin and spin <laughs> around and around until it found its center. Good times. One surefire sign that things are going in the wrong direction. Now we have these hands-free devices that lets us concentrate on the thing we're really supposed to be doing. My thought is this. If you need your, if you need your hands to do something, your brain should be in on it too. <laughs>